welcome back to my channel. I literally just finished filming the first review of this hair, my initial thoughts. And if you didn't check that video out, be sure to check it out. I'll make sure it's in the description box below. I am super obsessed with this wig that I got. This is the Victoria Logan wig from My First Wigs. This is the style with the bangs. There's also a style with a middle part. But I chose to go with the style with the bangs because I was going for like a scissor vibe. And yeah, that's just the flow I was on. So in this video, I am going to be coloring and trimming the ends giving it a little razor cut because right now it is pretty blunt at the ends. Before we jump into the video though, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's right here or right here. It's on one of these sides and you can just click it and hit subscribe real, real quick. And then you part of the click. Click subscribe to join the click. It's that simple. So if you don't know or you haven't seen any of my other hair coloring videos, well actually I think there was only one hair coloring video, but You'll see there's a trend. I absolutely love cream of nature hair coloring products. So today I'm going to be using the color bronze copper. It's like 7.64 on the box. And I'm going to be dyeing this hair, this bronze copper color, and I'm going to be leaving dark roots. I really was going for like the SZA vibe when I ordered this hair. So this color is really similar to the color SZA had in her hair. SZA, this hair color and style is all inspired by you. I have two boxes of this hair color, so hopefully it's enough. I'm about to go ahead and take this wig off and head to the kitchen so that we can start the coloring process. I'm so excited. All right, so first things first, I'm taking everything out of the box. It comes with developer, lightener, this shampoo conditioner pack thing and gloves and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix in the color with the developer one thing that I noticed when I was mixing this or actually after I finished coloring the hair was that this color does not come with the lightning packet the color that I typically use on my natural hair is the ginger blonde color and that one comes with the lightener and I think that's what helps ensure that I get the color that is actually on the box no matter how dark my hair is so one little tidbit this one doesn't come with the lightener so if you're trying to get the exact color that's on this box just know if your hair is dark like the color of this hair right here yeah you might not get the exact color you want but I'm just gonna go ahead and separate this hair do it piece by piece and like I said I want to do dark roots so I'm gonna start at the bottom with the color and I'm gonna work my way up initially I was thinking that as I put the color on I wanted to comb through it but that just wasn't working for me it was kind of pulling the hair out a bit and I didn't really want to do that I didn't want to damage the hair and be pulling strands out unnecessarily so I just went ahead and only used the gloves and I'm just taking it section by section and getting the color all throughout the hair and leaving some room on the roots so that the roots are still dark I just put it in this plastic bag to let the hair process and then I go ahead and rinse it all out once it sets for about 15 to 20 minutes and I'm just gonna go ahead and wash the hair just to ensure that all the colors out I'm using the Aussie 7 in 1 shampoo and as well as using the Aussie 7 in 1 conditioner detangling the hair with the conditioner in it as you can see I am getting a little bit of shedding which is not uncommon um, but the hair feels really really nice guys so I colored the wig washed it and even blew it dry a bit 
it's not the exact color that I want so I may color it again all right and I already got my cap on so I'm just gonna pull it forward a bit more and put her on I'm gonna take this off. So we're still a little damp, not all the way dry, definitely not as big as before. So I kind of want to cut these bangs a bit. They're really in my face, but I'm gonna wait for the hair to dry to do anything further to it. And it's getting late, so I'm just gonna put some of this Shea Moisture Mousse, Frizz Free Curl Mousse. This stuff is the bomb, okay? I've never used it before, but I know it's bomb because my friend puts it on her weave. And those curls be popping. So I went to Target just to get some of this, and I'm just pumping it in my hand. Oh, got it on my pants. And I am just going to finger it through my hair while it's damp. Oh, it smells really good, too. Oh, my gosh. And then I'm going to let it dry overnight. I'll see you in the morning. Taking her off now. Good morning, guys. So it's first thing in the morning, and I put the wig on. And I have to be honest, I did go ahead and trim the bangs just a bit because they were so much in my eyes that I literally couldn't see, and it was just causing me stress. So I did go ahead and cut the bangs. The rest of the hair definitely needs to have some layers cut in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm a little nervous about cutting the layers but right now it just has no shape at all and I just can't get with this also the color took but it's definitely not nearly as light as I want it I am a light haired girl so yeah I'm gonna have to go in and relighten this hair but I still love the way it feels I am liking my bangs a lot more now that I cut them so now I just need to put some layers in this baby I came down to the floor so that I can have my mirror right here because yeah I need to have one super close while I am cutting these layers into my hair I'm a bit nervous I've never done this before but I'm going to start low and work my way up. Before I do anything, I am going to divide my hair in the middle, in the back, and pull it to each side so that it's pretty even on each side. And then I am going to take the first layer, try to make it like even all the way around. And I'm going to, like I said, start low and work my way up and I just have this comb razor thing and I'm just going to comb these hairs away. Just a disclaimer guys, I am not a hairstylist. I am not licensed. I'm just cutting this hair with this little razor thing and doing the best that I can to try and give this hair a little bit more shape. I think that it works, but you know, I would never do it on my own hair. Be careful doing it on your hair, your weave, whatever, because you don't want to mess it up. The one good thing about this razor, though, is that it doesn't give you blunt ends. So regardless, you probably won't look too, too crazy. But yeah, I'm just trying to add some shape to this hair however I can by shaving off whatever hair that I'm able to shave off. that I'm doing all of this in the morning before work so I'm gonna have to get with y'all at the end of the day after I go to work because I gotta go I'm getting later and later by the second 
Hey guys, I'm now home from work and been working the hair all day. I am a fan. It's growing on me. I like the way it looks fluffed out. I'm also going to lighten this hair up a little bit more. If I make a video on that, you will see it on my channel. Not sure if I'm going to record it or not yet. Just because it might be super similar to the video where I colored my natural hair. Because I'm going to color it the exact same color. Just because that color takes so well. And I love the way it looks on my face. But that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on, on the wig. Do you think I should cut it shorter? What styles would you like me to do with it? Um, what, what do you want to know about the wig? Just ask me any questions that are on your heart and mind. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until next time. Bye.